Zap! Hello everyone and welcome back to another Bee Swarm video. We are on Test Realm, the place where we will share the two hive compositions for Mixed Hive. One that will help players with 35 bees, and the other will help players who own 45 bees and more advanced. Guys, make sure you like this video and subscribe with the bell on. Let's get 1k likes on this video, because I'm preparing a surprise for you. Join my Discord server, because I will be posting all hive compositions there. Yes, as you have heard, I also prepared the hive build of each hive. Let's move on to building hives. First of all, I will show you how to build a hive for boost of 35 bees. To unlock 35 slots, we must first place 25 bees in the hive. The first bee is the photon bee. You need this bee in the hive, because it will give you 5% instant conversion, haste tokens and its ability that will bring you some honey. The next bee is the festive bee. A bee like this will help you get extra 15% red pollen and that token that will give you a gift containing two important tokens. The tabby bee is one of the most important event bees. It must be placed in the hive and the first one you will give a star treat to. Gummy bee will help you with goo, but most importantly, it will help you with 5% honey per pollen. This 5% honey per pollen will be closely related to the moon amulet that I will tell you about later. Bear bee is a much needed Robux bee. Some really can't afford it, and I advise you to replace it with a carpenter bee if you don't have it. All these event bees must be gifted, because we need gifted hive bonus and ability tokens. Now we will add 6 carpenter bees. You don't really need all of them gifted. You need at least one gifted for inspiring token and gifted hive bonus. Now we have an interesting bee here. Diamond bee will help you with x12 convert rate and much more. We will need 4 music bees for the following tokens. We need to maintain focus tokens. We have to maintain music tokens. It is enough to have one gifted in the hive. Ninja bee will be perfect for haste token and the 5% bee move a speed bonus. You only need one. Shy Bee will help you with Nectar, Red Boost Token and Gifted Hive Bonus 5% Bee Ability Pollen which is important. Another bee that will help us with the multiplication of pollen is the Baby Bee. She drops us the most useful token that doubles the pollen for a few seconds. You must have 4 bees of this type, only 1 gifted. Basic Bee is used in the Hive for the X12 Pollen Bonus. You can get this gifted bee by placing basic eggs and you can feed it with seeds. You can place a basic egg in the hive. After that you can place a royal jelly and repeat this process until you get a basic bee gifted. Now we will need the pair of bees. We are talking about Riley bee and Bucko bee who will help you with gifted hive capacity bonus for red and blue and that boost token. I don't know if I've said this before, but these types of hives are created and tested by me. You need 3 Riley bee and 3 Bucko bee in the hive to maintain boost tokens for both colors. Commander B will be useful for 3% critical chance, but most importantly for the focus token. Of course we need speed and boost so we add a gifted hasty B for haste token and gifted hive bonus, 20% player move a speed. Once again, we will add the couple of rad B and cool B that will give us gifted hive bonus 15% red and blue pollen. We will also place a looker B for the focus token and the 25% critical power bonus. The last B is the stubborn B which will help you keep tokens alive while you boost. This is the hive of 35 bees that you must have as a mixed hive. This is the composition of the hive which contains a lot of useful information. You need bee quips for stats that will advance your bee. I will leave this hive build on my discord server as I said. Let me show you what amulets you need. I will try to make it so that it matches your progress. We will start with the first amulet, the king beetle amulet. It must contain the following stats. Convert rate as high as possible, plus one bee attack, and some random fields, that doesn't really matter. On this star amulet you must have X2 capacity, instant conversion, red pollen, blue pollen, ability rate, pollen, and amulet must contain convert rate as high as possible, critical power, critical chance, pollen, blue pollen, red pollen. What I was talking about earlier, moon amulet must be closely related to gummy bee gifted hive bonus. We will need bond from treats to bring the bees to a higher level as cheaply as possible. We need as much honey per pollen as possible. These two stats on Moon Amulet will bring you enough honey to progress. Stick Bug Amulet if you have it of course. You will need Convert Rate, Pollen, Bee Attack and more. I'm pretty sure you can't really get a Cog Amulet, so we'll skip that. If you got one, you are very good. Stump Snail Amulet must contain Goo, Pollen and other fields. Goo Conversion can be very useful. These were the amulets and the hive of 35 bees for the mixed hive. This is very useful in Mountain Top Field. 
There you have high tier flowers. It doesn't really require a very good sprinkler, but most importantly, it contains the two types of red and blue colors that will come into contact with the amulets, the bees in the hive and the equipment. I was able to make 5 million per second without wins, just with field boost x2, red extract, blue extract, the three golden sprinklers and jelly beans. I was able to maintain all boost tokens, focus and others. As a mask, you can use bubble mask because it has X15 capacity and many others. We will move on to the next hive for mixed advanced players. We will have almost the same hive, only with 50% changes and adds. The first time we need 45 slots, and we have 45 slots that will help us get more bees. As we all know, an advanced mixed hive can afford to buy royal jellies for mythical bees, so this composition will be changed literally. We will have two music bees and you will see why, but first we create the hive. Instead of these two music bees, we will add one Riley bee gifted and one Bucko bee gifted. As I said, for capacity, we will remove two baby bees to add two carpenter bees. Those carpenter bees at the bottom of the hive will be exchanged for vector bees. And yes, make sure you have at least one vector and a carpenter gifted. The rest can be ungifted. Instead of these bees, Riley and Bucko bees, we will add four precise bees that will help us with precision, focus, boost tokens and more. Besides that, we will also need three spicy bees that will help precise bees with instant conversion from targets. Yes, you need full stack of fire to convert all your backpack. A gifted fuzzy bee will have the role of pollinating the field, bringing the flowers to a higher tier. You will need it if you have no one to help you with pollination. We also add a buoyant bee for extra X12 capacity. Besides that, you can convert that balloon and it will give you a blessing which will also increase your capacity. It is really worth having a gifted buoyant in the hive. A gifted lion bee will add plus two colorless bee attack to all bees. Attack that will help precise bees. The last four bees will be tadpoles. You must have at least two gifted, because we removed two baby bees if you remember. Bees will help you grow flowers, grow pop star and drop baby love tokens. Stats for amulets you can use the same ones that I told you. At 45 bees in the hive, I think you also have supreme star amulet unlocked. If you really have SSA, I advise you to use pop star passive with the stats I told you. Use Diamond Mask or Bubble Mask. But I think you have Diamond Mask because it's called Advanced Mixed Hive. I managed to make 1 billion per second with this hive, just because I donated one purple potion for wins. And this happened in Bamboo Field. This is the hive build made by me in the second one. We have some beequips that are necessary for the hive. It also depends on the number of beequip slots you own. I will leave both compositions on my Discord server. The link is in the description of this video. Hit the like button to get as many likes as we can for this video. Also press the subscribe button because it will help you know when I post. It was me Zap Player, your favorite bee swarm troll. Stay safe, stay strong and stay cool. Bye.